Streamlabs. You really didn't do yourself any favors here. For those of you that don't know, Streamlabs recently had what I think can only be described as a catastrophic disaster of a day on social media. I mean, when you have OBS, Elgato, Lightstream, and even Edward Snowden all bashing you simultaneously, you know you messed up. I'm not gonna get into the details here, but if you do want to learn about exactly what's happened and my thoughts on it, we discussed it in great detail on this week's podcast, so I'll leave that link down in the description. Instead, I want to help turn this negative situation into a positive and help all of you that have been using Streamlabs for either your streaming software or as your alert and donation provider and show you how you can move across to better alternatives like OBS Studio and Stream Elements. We're going to be going through it step by step and I promise once we're done you'll be glad you switched over and I guarantee you won't be missing Streamlabs at all. Before we jump in, I'd like to give a quick thank you to this video sponsor, NordPass. NordPass just released some research about the most commonly used passwords in 2021. The research shows that if you're using a password that contains a name, artist, city, sports team, animal, or car brand, your password is likely to be incredibly common, making it much easier to crack. Thankfully, NordPass has built a super secure password manager that can suggest, store, and even change your weak passwords for you and they have several different browser extensions or mobile apps so you can access NordPass whatever your setup. Do yourself a favor and grab the NordPass premium plan with 70% off plus an extra month for free at nordpass.com slash gaming careers or use coupon code gaming careers at checkout. So the first thing that we're going to do is to move all of your scenes and sources across from Streamlabs OBS, now technically called Streamlabs Desktop, across to OBS Studio. To do this, you're obviously going to need to have OBS Studio installed if you haven't already, but first we'll actually look at what we want to import by opening up Streamlabs, clicking the little drop down arrow next to your scenes, and then clicking Manage All. This will show you all of the different scene collections that you have in Streamlabs Desktop. It's worth noting down the names of any of those that you wish to import into OBS Studio. You can also see here which scene collection you currently have active within Streamlabs 2. So for me, that's this Amuse Stream package from Nerd or Die. And you can see here, if I flip through the different scenes, we have a stream starting soon scene, a chatting scene, a gameplay scene, and an ending scene. Next, let's open up our OBS Studio and open up the settings. In the general tab, we should have this option under importers and make sure we have the option search known locations for scene collections when importing enabled. Then we can come up to click on scene collection and import and this will then scan all of the other locations that other streaming apps like Streamlabs and XSplit use. We can check the boxes next to any of the scene collections we want to import. So for me, I want to import this Amused collection and the Stream OS collection, and then I can click import. Once those have imported, we'll want to come up to scene collection and then select the collection that we just imported and OBS will then swap to using that scene collection. You should see that everything has moved across successfully. You might see some odd sources that need a little tweaking or refreshing, but on the whole, everything here should have imported over correctly. Unfortunately, there isn't a super simple way to actually move your stream settings across from Streamlabs Desktop into OBS Studio. So instead we have two options. If you're happy with all of your settings from Streamlabs, you can open up the settings there and make a note of things like your bitrate, your encoder, your resolution, and your frame rate, and then use those same settings in OBS Studio. Or if you want the quicker, easier method, in OBS Studio you can run the auto config wizard up here in the tools menu and let OBS run tests on your computer and internet connection to best determine your settings. If you're streaming to Twitch or to YouTube, I definitely recommend connecting your account to OBS Studio so that you will get the enhanced functionality like dockable chat and activity feeds. Speaking of docs, one thing in OBS Studio that is completely customizable is the layout. So if you want to have things laid out in a similar fashion to how you had it in Streamlabs Desktop, it can be a bit fiddly, but everything here is movable and resizable to get things exactly as you please. You can even add any individual web page as a docked element as well. So many people use this to get their activity feed docked from somewhere like Stream Elements. There are quite a few different platforms that you can use to show when somebody donates, subscribes, or follows you on stream. If you're up for supporting one of the companies that was most hurt by this plagiarism from Streamlabs, then the creators at Lightstream actually have their own alert platform called rainmaker.gg. But in terms of feature parity, I think the closest to Streamlabs is Stream Elements. So that's what we'll be talking about today. So to move all of our alerts across from Streamlabs to Stream Elements, the first thing you need to do is open up the Stream Elements website using a Chrome based browser. Once you've logged in with the platform of your choice, you can come up to your profile picture, click it, select Import, and then Streamlabs. 
This will open up an extension that has been built to help quickly export your alerts from Streamlabs into Stream Elements. You'll only need this extension once, it can be removed as soon as the export has finished, so click to add this extension and then head over to the Streamlabs website and log in there. Once you're on the Streamlabs dashboard, you can open up the extension which will either be up here in the menu bar or if you click this little puzzle piece, it'll show in the drop down. Then simply select if you want to import both your tips and alerts or just the alerts and then click start import to stream elements. Once that's done, you can head back over to the stream elements website, go to your overlays and you should see a newly imported alert box. If you click on edit, you can go in and actually check that everything's successfully imported by emulating a few different events like a new follower, subscriber or donator. If anything needs changing, you can go into each of the alerts here on the left hand side and customize things like the image, the audio, the sizing or any other settings that you need. If everything looks good, all you have to do is click this little link icon in the top to copy the browser source URL and then open up OBS Studio. In OBS, just select which scene you want the alerts to show in and then add a browser source to that scene, pasting in the URL that Stream Elements gave you. You'll want to make sure that the width and height matches those of the canvas in Stream Elements, then you can emulate some more actions and these will now show in OBS Studio for you to position as you wish. It's also worth mentioning that if you purchased an alert pack from somewhere like Nerd or Die, they usually come with a super simple installer for Stream Elements where you can just open one file and everything will be set up for you. If you accept tips or donations on your stream and you've been using Streamlabs to process those before, you can again move this across to Stream Elements. To do so, from the Stream Elements dashboard, you want to head across to the tipping settings in the Revenue tab. Here you can customize the design and layout of your tipping page, as well as tipping settings like which payment providers to accept, which currency to use, uh, any minimum and a maximum amounts, and your tip message or TTS filtering. Once you've got your tipping page set up as you like, you'll want to update any Twitch panels or any places that you have your donation link with this new URL so that viewers are taken to the new page on Stream Elements. If you want to move away from using Streamlabs CloudBot on your channel, Stream Elements also has a chat bot which has custom commands, timers, smart modules, and spam filters. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be an easy way to import commands across from CloudBot to the Stream Elements chat bot. So this may be a bit more of a manual process if you have loads of custom commands, but there are a whole bunch of default commands that you can enable with one click. There's also a whole world of different chat bots out there, things like Nightbot, Moobot, Fossabot, as well as countless others. So feel free to explore here and find something that suits you. If you've been using Streamlabs to manage and sell merchandise to your community uh, and you want to move elsewhere, Stream Elements does have a pretty similar service. You will, however, need to recreate your designs and update your links to point to this new store. It's really quite intuitive to use in terms of dragging and dropping your logo and positioning it on the merchandise as you see fit. Again, there's countless different places where you can do this if you don't want to use Stream Elements. Places like Teespring or Design by Humans or Spreadshirt are three that come to mind. If you found this video in any way helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. I realize moving platforms and moving streaming software isn't the most interesting of video topics, but I thought this was really quite important to get out considering all the news that's happened with Streamlabs in the past week. Like I said at the start, if you want to hear exactly what has happened with Streamlabs and my thoughts on it, I would highly recommend checking out the Gaming Careers podcast, which we just recorded on Monday. Uh, I'll leave that link down in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.